Happy Independence Day, America. My fellow Americans, 234 years ago, our forefathers declared their independence from a corporatist empire. The East India Company, one of the first multinational corporations, had a legal monopoly on tea. Now, in those days, tea and beer were the basic, basically the two drinks that colonists drank. Um, now, a lot of Americans managed to get around that tea monopoly uh, because there, were, there was basically a black market for tea in which pirates, basically, were able to take uh, to get tea from the Caribbean and sell in the black markets uh, to, to Americans. Um, now, Britain, realizing that they couldn't just uh, catch every pirate out there, um, decided that they were going to give the East India Company a huge tax break uh, that, uh, that would allow them to undercut the prices of, of, these, uh, of these pirates and, uh, and basically flood the market with, uh, with tea. Um, now, a lot of people think of you know the uh, of the rallying cry, "No taxation without representation," basically meaning that uh, Americans wanted to be able to tax pol set tax policy for themselves and resented the the taxation of England. Now, this is true, but um, what it leaves out is that they were also resentful that American business owners were were getting ta uh, were getting taxed, while this huge multinational corporation was getting off scot free. Um, and so this is really um, a major thing that, that led to the Boston Tea Party and then ultimately to America's fight for independence. Um, now, uh, obviously that is not the end of America's struggle with corporatism. Um, many of the founding fathers were very wary of, of the rise of corporations, including Thomas Jefferson. Um, but, uh, but the corporate power rose over the course of the 19th century, and in, on May 10th, 1886, there was a Supreme Court ruling in Santa Clara County versus Southern Pacific Railroad. Um, now this is remembered by many as the uh, Supreme Court decision that, uh, that basically declared corporate personhood, that said corporations were people with rights under the 14th Amendment, which was meant to end slavery. Um, there's actually a bit of confusion about that, because uh, if you read the case, the actual ruling says nothing about corporate personhood. Um, it's actually in the summary of the case that's put at the beginning of it, which was put there by a court reporter named Bancroft Davis, who had uh, major ties to the railroads. So um, it was actually a fraud that, that made that, the, that uh, case um, a precedent for corporate personhood. However, it was cited by later court rulings as precedent, and thus corporate personhood became a reality. Um, now, corporate personhood was, was most recently cited in, uh, in January 21st, uh, 2010, in the Citizens of the United versus Federal Election Commission. Um, basically affirmed corporate personhood and also eliminated limits on campaign contributions, saying that it violated corporations' free speech. Never mind that many of the co that some corporations aren't even owned in, uh, in America, such as BP. Um, so basically, this court decision uh, gives corporate corporations free reign to buy our elections. Now, I don't need to tell you how poisonous this is to democracy. So, um... We could wait around until um, until we have a Supreme Court that has a little bit more sense when it comes to corporate personhood. However, I say that on this July 4th, we declare our independence from corporate personhood by signing a petition to end corporate personhood. Uh, that's why I'm going to put up a link to movetoamend.org. Um, movetoamend.org has, has a petition to sign to pass a constitutional amendment. Uh, which, which will do the following. We'll firmly establish that money is not speech, that human beings, not corporations, are persons entitled to constitutional rights. We will guarantee that the right to vote and, and to participate and to have our votes and particip participation count. It will protect local communities, their economies, and democracies against illegitimate preemption by global, national, and state governments. I'd also like to recommend a book by Tom Hartman. It's called Unequal Protection, 
uh, how corporations became people and how you can fight back. Thank you for listening. Uh, God, bless, God bless. God bless America. Go USA.